Hey Michael, it's Logan Stout here at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield. I'm on the bottom lot here, uh, right in the corner of our bottom lot where we've got this Ram 1500 Bighorn with the aftermarket wheels and tires. And uh, man, it's really nice. I'm gonna walk around it for you. I went ahead and popped the hood so that I can show you uh, underneath the hood here in just a second. I am right next to the highway, so you're gonna catch some of that noise. And because of that, you're also getting some dust thrown on uh, the truck. So uh, it has collected a little dust on that black paint. But other than that, man, it looks uh, it looks really good. So let's walk around it. You got the Yokohama all-terrain tires, and they are awesome, like really good tread. I'm gonna say 90% tread, maybe even a touch better than that. I don't think those are brand new put on by us, but I wouldn't be surprised if they said they were because they're really, really good. Uh, Drop-in bed liner from Dodge. Really nice. It's not uh, beaten and banged up. Uh, tailgate looks good. Uh, seems like about every Ram 1500 of this age, uh, you see some ding in the bumper or something on the tailgate or whatever, but this one is almost flawless back here. Parking sensors all straight ahead. This thing is uh, really nice, and it's my, it strikes that balance. It's got enough bells and whistles that this is not a base truck. You know, that Bighorn package can be on the base side a little bit. This one's not, uh, but it's not so overloaded that you're having to pay 40 grand for it. So, you know, looking down the passenger's, or I'm sorry, the driver's side, I'm sure there's a ding or two in here somewhere or a small scratch or something, but if so, it's very, very minor because I'm not seeing anything significant there's no waviness in the paint, anything like that. Looks great in the sun right now. <clears throat> that hood looks good, minus the dust. It's been so dry, of course. Uh, we're not seeing any um, hail damage, anything like that. Front fender's good. Notice some condensation in the headlights. Uh, I looked around this really good. I'm not seeing a crack in here anywhere, and that's not enough to cause any issues as far as that condensation goes. It's just a little something in there somewhere, but no cracks. And they're working, everything's good on the front. Fog lights look good. Front bumper looks good, nothing caved in, nothing busted. That headlight's real good. Nice. Uh, before I do under the hood, passenger side. I didn't spend a lot of time over here, but I don't, don't see anything on this side either. Yeah, great, great. Again, probably a scratch or two on here somewhere. Let's do underneath the frame as well. I know you mentioned that on the phone, so let's look at that. You can tell I'm getting older because I grunted when I got under here, but uh, yeah, really clean. Uh, there's a, a little bit on some of those connection points. You can see a little bit corrosion, but not really. I mean, my truck looks worse than this and it's been in Kentucky its whole life. So yeah, great. Very, uh, very pleased with that too. There's something, I knew I'd find a blemish on here somewhere. That plastic, you know, the heat gets to that a little bit, that cover, it's warped up a little bit. Other side looks pretty good. All right, under the hood, before we go inside the truck. Of course it is that 3.6, gonna get a little better gas mileage there. That's always appreciated real clean in here all you know and i don't i think i've joked with you all before like i don't know an alternator from a radiator but i can look through here I'll, i can look down at all those connection points and see when something's eat up with if you got mud soot corrosion anything nothing really good here even the battery battery cables look fresh so that's good all right let's go to the inside i've already been in it and it does not smell it doesn't smell like smoke or animal or anything it smells clean nice and quiet but you got your storage underneath here and that folds out ram got pretty creative with the way they did that don't think i can lift that side from over here should have a little storage component here yes great Yeah, Ram logo, everything looks good back here. Very pleased. Let's fold this down. Great. 
can be as thorough as I can. I want to get you all four corners inside and out. No rips or tears on the seat back here. There we go. We've seen that get stubborn before, but this one's great. That's that little fold out table thing. Awesome. Just very functional. Passenger seat is not a power passenger seat, but firm through here. Kind of got the microfiber in the middle there. Storage, books, accessories. Great. Okay, uh, does have remote start and the remote start works. That's how I started the vehicle. Got a power driver seat, that works. I was messing around with that just a second ago. Nice Ram floor mats. I am tickled to death. I mean, some used trucks, or not all used trucks are created equal, you know that. Some have been beaten and abused and some are like this one. They kind of sell themselves. A little discoloring up there on that uh, visor, but that's, that's me being pretty picky there. Um, I was uh, playing around with these buttons too. Everything seems to be working. Uh, of course, you've got heated seats and a heated steering wheel on this. There's your backup camera. It's working. Great. There's your heated seats and heated steering wheel. Steering wheel uh, is in great shape and you've got your uh, audio and cruise stuff on the steering wheel. That display is also good. And with 54,000 miles, you know how we do it. Um, it's gonna qualify for a big time factory type total care warranty um, that would go all the way out to 120,000 miles on the truck. And it would cover even stuff like this touchscreen right here, which is huge. Um, so it's engine transmission, alternator, battery, radiator, uh, a lot of electrical components, power windows, power locks, power seats, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, big ticket items, small ticket items. Uh, emission stuff is not covered, but other than that, we don't get too many complaints out of that. That thing is, uh, that thing's legit. I'm not really a warranty guy, but I've bought it four times now and it's helped me before. So uh, I love it. You can take it to any certified mechanic and there's no deductible. So pretty sweet nationwide coverage there. We'll try to show you payment options both with and without that. And uh, you kind of know the drill uh, shopping here before. That's uh, That's it, man. Very pleased with it.